Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. We're in the craft room. We're going to have a little look in this box here. We've had a delivery come from Your Creative Studio. They do a monthly subscription and this is a vintage box. So I'm really, really excited to have a little look in here. I thought we could have a look through and then maybe do a little bit of crafting with something that's in there. So let's open up and see what goodies we've got. So we've got Your Creative Studio. There's a little card that they've popped in here. This is lovely, this paper. So anything like this, I would save as well. Um, let's see if I can open it. I think I might have to rip the sticker. Sorry, sticker. And let's just open that there. And see what bits and pieces we've got inside. Right, so we've got loads of little really cute envelopes with bits and bobs in i don't know why but when you get the little parcels they're always really exciting to open <laughs> what is that all about okay what have we got here so let's have a look inside there's some of their codes on the front and then it says your creative studio let's have a little look let's open these and see what we've got just don't know what you're going to get so i'll put all the um the details for this website in the description oh we've got a stamp oh wow okay let's have a look that looks to me like a train now my niece absolutely loves trains so you've got like a vintage looking steam train there that feels really nice and soft that stamp I'm going to save these envelopes because they'll be great for journeying. And now this one says masking tape. So let's have a look in there. We've got some browns and creams in the masking tape. But that kind of matches their colour scheme, doesn't it? It feels nice and soft. Let's just take that out. just so you can see there we go so we've got some masking tape what have we got here let's open this one oh, we've got another stamp here that's another train there. There's that one. There's another masking tape as well. So it's washi washi tape. What have they got this time? Oh look at that one. That's got greens and browns and cream colours on. Let's just peel that so you can see. Stick that on there. And I've got that pattern on there. There's that one. What have we got here? This might be another stamp. You get quite a few stamps in the kit. Obviously, every month is going to be different. You get a different theme. Oh, hang on, there's another one in there. Yes, uh, it says railway station on there. Obviously, my niece would love this. And this one, locomotive travel. So we've got separate little bags in here as well. Loads and loads of bits and bobs. What does this say? Well, these look like little scrap tickets and little cutouts and bits and pieces. So if you wanted to as well, you could distress these even more. So these are great for 
junk journaling and putting on tags you can do distress tags again i would probably stick this on something and um, just distress it a little bit more aeroplanes pianos vroom vroom these look absolutely loads and loads and loads i think i'll put these in a little tub and then i can just sort of rummage through gosh i can't even hold any of those what else we got let's have a look at this one let's open that up World Wonders. We have Big Ben on the front. Oh, Eiffel Tower. Oh, so it's like a little book and it's got Wonders of the World inside. We've got the Leaning Tower of Pisa. I've seen a couple of those. I've seen the Eiffel Tower, I've seen Big Ben, obviously. I've seen the Leaning Tower of Pisa. I've seen the pyramids. I wonder if they're in here. Not been there. Love to go there. It's loads, isn't there? And there's um, oh Arc de Triomphe. Seen that? So uh, lovely. I like these. I don't think they're stickers though. Let me just see. Oh, I look. They are. They're stickers. They're stickers. I did wonder when I felt them. feel quite nice and thin. So we can stick those on. Let me stick those on an envelope. And I won't feel I've wasted it then. Stick that on there. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Okay. What have we got here? Globe map. I think we'll have a go at making a tag with these in a sec. If you want to stick around. So this is like a notebook. And it's got different maps inside. Can you see there, look? All sorts of different parts of the world there. Loads of different kind of colours as well. So you've got like purples, greens... There's blues, creams, so you can sort of tie those in with your theme. Right, what are these? Luke. Another little pad. Life is only illusion. It says, life is not a dream. Destiny is held in our own hands. And these look like they've got... Um, Kind of stamps on there. They like different ones we've got. So you get a few of the same design. This is just paper, these are not stickers. So obviously you can take those out and pop those on the things. There's a different one there. old newspaper clippings maybe that's them in there what well, feels like very very thin paper actually oh, these feel really nice i like those 
sorts of different ones here. Again with your browns and your creams. Your vintage themed throughout. Put that to one side. What's never ending? Right, these are sticky notes. That's got a train on that says travel plan. So you could um you could stick that into a journal maybe, or you could actually just use that as notes and then stick them individually in, or you can put the whole pack whole pack in there. We've got some stickers. Let's take one off. I think that is that's a train, I think, as well. Probably can't see it too well. Not a great focus, is it? Right, what's this big one in here? Ooh, we've got a couple more. Is it one? Yeah, they're both in the same box and the same bag. Right, let's open this up. We have paper. So it's got 24 sheets. We've got six stip sticker paper, six vellum, six art paper, and six patterned paper. Looks amazing. Your cards, journals, spreads, scrapbook, tags, and much more. Let's open these up. I would definitely make a tag for a junk journal out of all these bits and pieces. It's a piece of card there. You could use that little backing card as well. Again, I've got a, quite a mixture of a trains and maps and that's quite nice. Feels really, really nice, that's paper. There. That's the same as the beginning one. Our train station ready to go. Here's some vellum. So that's the same design in vellum there. So it looks like you have the same designs but in different things so this is the sticker sheets so the things i read out for you they do those in each design and there you go so if you fancy having a look for yourself it's your creative studio at the minute i looked on the website actually and the pre-order is 24 this is in pounds 24 67 and they do deals where you can um, pre-order them like a few months at a time if you wanted to do like a present or something and you can get them cheaper the standard price in pounds at the moment when i looked was 30 pounds 98 but you can have a little look through and get like deals and bits and bobs so i just wanted to open it just so i could show you all the bits and bobs inside before we had a little bit of a crafty session so let's just pop those in there and then we'll make a start. We'll have a little go at making a tag. This can go into our little junk journal or something at some point. Sometimes it's nice just to sit and relax and just make things for the sake of making them, you know, because you don't actually need to make them. So I've just got some tea stained card here. I'm just going to cut a second I'm just going to cut a little bit I'm not measuring it just where I think I don't even know if that's straight um going to round the corners this is just a really cheap corner rounder they are really handy corner rounders actually you can pick up ones that are showing mean, I've got expensive ones and cheap ones and everything in between but it they are quite handy to have I'm not going in there. There we go. Okay. Okay, so I've got um some old book pages that I've tea stained. I think maybe you could pop a bit of that down the bottom. That would look quite 
quite nice. Love these old book pages. If you look about in charity shops, you can get um, you can get a few. I, I look for some uh, like really old and damaged and you know no good. A bit like us. <laughs> I'm just gonna pop some distress ink on it as well. Actually. I think I might um, pop some gesso down let's do a bit of that first so just got some acrylic gesso what I use is just a bit of card or an old debit card or something let's get a bit on there just kind of scrape little bits on Kind of sort of layering that we're doing really. That'll be enough. Let me distress the edges as well. We're gonna use tea dye. I think tea dye is probably my favourite one, I think. bits in the middle, some darker bits. I think that looks quite cute. Right, we'll stick the um, stick the newspaper on now. I'm going to use maybe some matte finish and also um, some wet glue. I really love having my craft room at the house because I feel like I can do so much more but with the kids here but the only problem is it's a lot smaller and I feel like I'm a bit squashed sometimes but I do prefer being up here you can stick that down with anything you can use wet glue or you can just use um you know anything like this really let's pop another bit of this on this is quite cute Obviously, if you're putting that over the top, it's going to take longer to dry. Let's use a bit of the other glue for the next bit. On Amazon, you can get little different sets of these distressing. So I think they do like three or four in a pack. So you can get a few. Um, if you've not got any, you could just sort of start a little collection up. Obviously, these tools are quite good, but... You can use just um, the cheap makeup sponges from um, Poundland if you want to. Let's put a bit of this glue on. I prefer the Beacon 3-in-1. That's um, a really nice glue, but this one's a bit cheaper. sort of map on I think that would be quite nice let's go for that one I'm 
just going to kind of rip it so it's a bit more jagged. Um, Alfie's birthday today as I'm filming this so I've got some videos filmed quite far in advance he's five bless him it's gone so quick hasn't it really bonkers really how time flies when you're having fun a little bit of one of these on as well. Let's have this bit. Obviously save all these little bits and bobs before anyone tells me off. quite a few of these over the weekend it's just nice and relaxing just like hiding away did I I didn't stain that one did I I'll do some to that in a minute glue that one down but I'm going to pop this in um my junk journal. I'm just over time I'm gonna just make a few just when I've got some time just sit in the craft room and kind of just make some. I think it's nice to do that isn't it? so bright because it was quite bright really put a dark a bit at the top there right let's have a look um see if we've got some kind of script where did i put that little sticker book this little sticker book is so cute like some script in here I think actually I think I've got a script stamp I ordered one from um, eBay and it took about six weeks to arrive so I don't know what happened with the post like it's ridiculous the lady refunded me actually because it took so long to get here and then when it arrived um, I messaged her to say that it arrived and she just said to to keep it I suppose because it obviously it took so long but I thought that was nice of her. It wasn't her fault, obviously. Sometimes the post uh, isn't very particular, is it? I'm just going to rip this off the tower out. Obviously, we won't need to glue this on because it's a sticker. harder to peel once you've ripped it a little bit. Get a bit more out. I think they're so cute. I love these little stickers. You don't have to rip them, you can just stick them on as they are. I used to collect stickers when I was little. 
obviously this was like I was born in the 70s and in the 80s when I was at school we used to have little sticker books often when I say stuff on here Hayley, <laughs> Hayley says oh, I used to do that <laughs> but he used to um he used to take him to school and sort of swap them for your mates and show and show all your little stickers in your book it's so cute kind of prefer that really do you know what would be really nice if if today's generation could grow up you know in a in a previous time just to see how they how they liked it even for a year or something it'd be strange wouldn't it if my kids could actually grow up in the 80s <laughs> right let's pop this on as well it's a little thing there so they're the stickers so all we're doing is we're just putting them on and we're layering up it'll all make sense in a minute let's move these bits to one side so let's look at some of the stamps that we got in the set. These are quite cute. I've used a few of these on some different um, different stamps. I really like this one, this railway one. You can even use your distress ink, you know. You don't have to uh, just use it. Oh, that's the wrong one. You just grab the right one. so it's not so harsh I say you can use other distress inks as well and get some different colours if you want to I'm going to nip around the edge a bit more dark Also, what I'm going to do is use a little bit of uh, gold um, around the edge because I think that would look quite nice. Just while I'm waiting for that ink to dry, put a bit on the finger. It's just a case of like if you can give yourself an hour or two at least and just to kind of sit down and not look at your phone and just chill just be with your your own mind that's what i tend to do just kind of um use it as a little therapy session i think that's good sometimes It's 
cute. To be fair. I'll tell you what would also look nice on there. Some dried flowers. So have you just used dried flowers before? The pressed ones. Maybe something like this would look nice. Let's grab some scissors. Ooh, make myself a cup of tea. That'll be getting cold. Let's see what these look like. I love these ones. I stuck some um, on the other, another one I've made, but they weren't pressed. I think they look so much better pressed. These are nice. It's just a case sometimes of just having like that's a bit bright. We're just having um a little rummage about and let's see. Obviously you can press your own flowers as well if you want to. I think I've got these from hmm, maybe Amazon. I generally get things from there. So all I did is get a bit of glue and just half the bits have just fell off that stick stick it on. That's it. Stick, stick, stick. It does stick down. This glue is really quite sticky. That looks so cute, even though it did lose half the middle. Could stick some more in the middle, but mm, no, I'll leave it. Okay, so that's the bottom bit there, and let's just clear these bits away. I've got some uh, bits of vellum that came in the kit. I used a piece of that. I'll show you what I use that for. I think this is really cute. The uh, the lady sort of on the um, in the station on those bits there. What I'm going to do is um, get a piece and just pop it over the top. That bit's nice. Or I could use maybe this bit. Do I think I'm going to use that one? Put these to one side. size. Ebs has gone to watch Harry Styles today in Coventry. Just gone with her uh, friend Evie and her mum. So if you remember from the previous videos, Ebs lives in Harry Styles very, very much. Hopefully they're going to have a fantastic day. I think they're going to be quite close to the front, hopefully. Gosh, it's tricky to get those tickets. But uh, we've had many a Harry Styles um, scary ticket events over time. we got three for them to go. Because Evie's mum's taking, taking them this time. rounded those corners off too much but that'd be fine so that just fits over the top and what I'm going to do is put a hole through there and then put one of these little toilet things through do you know these are really nice to use as well these are like little bulb um, you see little pins you can put things to dangle off them get all sorts of different colours but I would imagine that would be a good colour to use. Oh look at that finger look. Um, these are nice too but they're really quite small. They're probably a bit too small, the little small split pins so I'll probably use that one. I'll just pop that in. I'm just going to use my uh, We Are Memory Keepers little handy kit. There we go. So that's 
in there. Obviously you can slide it still. Ooh, like that. Okay, let's move that out of the way now. I think it'd be nice to put a bit of ribbon or something on. I've got these keys. It's similar to one that I've done actually. I'm going to show you in a second. I think a key would look really nice dangling off. I don't know where I got these from. Often you get like bits in your stash and you've had them in there for ages and you have absolutely no idea where you've got them from. Let me just find some string. And you know, I've still got some string. The lovely Jane made me this. Let me just grab it. If you're watching Jane, you made me this so many years ago and I still use it now to this day. And it's really handy because you don't fight for the end of the wool or string or whatever it is you're using. I think it's just she did like a jam jar and uh, popped her some string inside. It's a very, very good idea. And then just a little hole in the top. It's ace. Let's poke this through in here. It's hard to believe Phoebe's going to secondary school soon. That's scary, isn't it? Got her uniform order list. That's a bit of an ouch for the cost. But obviously, once you've got it, they wear it a lot, so. It's so strange to think that she's uh, going up to senior school. Really, really weird. These little bits are nice too. I don't know if that will go in there though. I don't think it will. What else we got? Sometimes you just like have a little play about with things and just see what goes and what doesn't go. Doing well with her car. She's got her car now. Driving around everywhere. Yeah, I might poke that through. She's a cocktail stick. doing good at work she loves her job i think it makes so much difference doesn't it when you like your job where's the other bit to that gone I'm pulling the wrong bit through there i've no idea what i'm doing i probably won't even leave it like this but i could do with a longer bit really
and Izzy, let me tell you, is doing super well at gymnastics. She's got another another badge the other day. She's really good at it. She's always been like an energetic kid. She's always climbed everywhere ever since she was a baby. That bit's too short, but it's going to have to be tough, I think. I'm just going to try and see if I can tie these. Okay. That looks quite cute, and then it just you just scoot it round like that. Let me show you some of the others that I made to give you maybe a few ideas. This is one that I made that's that's similar. It's a bit bigger, and uh, I use like a pink flower on it. Did a similar thing to what I've done there. Use different stamps. I think I used a few stamps on there. Sort of use the golds, um, and then I made these as well. A few just basic ones that's literally on some tea stained card. Just use one of these type stickers, stuck that on there, and then distress inked it, and then pop some of the gold on. This is um, tea stained card. This is a piece of the vellum, the same vellum that we used on this. And then some more tea stain cards, some uh, bits of the book, and then one of those little stickers again. Just popped a bow on there, just tied a bow and glued that on. There's the steam locomotive stamp, just on some tea stained there. Didn't really do anything else to that. Used a tag punch that I had. Used the um, one of the train stamps and then popped some... So this one we've got uh, Big Ben, the same sorts of things, just the clippings, bits of the stickers cut out. This I put um, just one of these little things that you open at the back, just some ribbon, lace, trim type stuff. And this one is the one I told you about where it wasn't actually pressed. I think the pressed flowers will be much better. Um, but yeah, just glued that on, stuck some of the lace on there as well. So there's a few ideas for you. And I'll just quickly show you this one as well. This was to one side. So I used the French script stamp on there that didn't come in this set, but it just shows that you can team it up with um, bits and pieces, you know, that you have in your stash. Um, and used some paper, some of the little um, cards that came in the set and just sort of ripped the script up that came in the set as well on some just some normal tea dye paper. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a few, loads and loads up over time, just when I fancy sitting and chilling and making them. And then we can um, just pop them in my journal. You know, when you've got like a stash of them, you can just put them in like the little pockets and stuff and just think they're quite nice. But that's it. I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching this video. It's been quite relaxed, hasn't it? Just having a little craft. But thank you to uh, your creative studio. The video is not sponsored. They did send me the pack that um, um, it's not sponsored in any way. But I um, just thought that you'd like um, you'd like to see. So if you would like to subscribe, then I would highly suggest that you do so, obviously. And also make sure you hit the notification bell because I've noticed that lots of my videos are not getting early on views. Um, so I'm not sure if you guys have got your bell notified or if something's happened with YouTube. Um, but that's it. You take care of yourself. I hope you've enjoyed and had a nice little relax. And I've possibly sent a few of you to sleep as well. But I um, hope you're okay and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.